<laughs> what's going on guys um so again i feel like it's i feel like i say this every single video but i know it's been a while but literally uh, life just happens whatever no excuses anyway point is i'm here making one now um and one thing i wanted to do is actually show you guys how i do my personal shots just because of the fact that well number one i'm kind of a pussy and I don't know. One thing I really hate doing is shooting. Honestly, I really hate pinning. Literally, this is an 18 gauge. But honestly, I hate fucking having to just shoot this shit like anywhere. Like it, it's honestly whatever. This is the one part of bodybuilding I like the least. Um, not that I dislike it because I really don't. But it's just the fact that literally I'm fucking having to stab myself but regardless this is part of uh bodybuilding and you know if you don't want to accept it then i don't know do the wmbf or do do a do some sort of natty organization i mean i don't know what to tell you if you don't like shooting um or if shooting is something you don't want to do then there's honestly no problem with it obviously this isn't the video for you but if that's the case, then fucking do natural bodybuilding if you really don't want to take gear or have to shoot anything up because you popping a bunch of fucking D-balls and SARMs isn't doing anything just because you're too pussy to take a fucking shot. So, anyway, um, granted, even though I said I'm a pussy, but whatever. So, I just wanted to show you guys how to backload a syringe. That's personally how I like to shoot just because of the fact that, well... If any of you guys know fucking needles, which if you follow me, I hope you do. But obviously, let me just pop this cap off. Obviously, it's a much smaller and thinner needle than than like, you know, almost all the fucking needles that you'll use to to get the gear from. Because most of the time when you shoot up, when you get your gear, you'd want to use something like an 18 gauge just so that by the time you you pull your oil from the from the vial, it's just super easy. So that's what I like to do. And so I would just, I feel like this, is, this isn't something I shouldn't have to say, but I cannot specify this enough. Do not reuse needles and always make sure you use a fucking alcohol swab for everything, every single time. I know some people don't take it too serious or whatever. It, it's not a big deal, but really it's extremely important because fucking bacteria and dirt gets literally everywhere. So if you're using, excuse me, if I personally use the same uh, syringe and 18 gauge needle anytime I pull the gear, just because there's no fucking point, honestly, I don't know. You can say I'm a hypocrite, but whatever. Um, honestly, it just feels so much better and I'd rather not waste needles. I'm kind of a cheap fuck. So, so like I was saying, exactly. Every single time you, before you shoot up, make sure you wipe down the vial or the app every single time you use it because no matter what, bacteria is going to get on it. No matter where you store it, I don't care where you store it, but bacteria is going to get on it in any way and it's going to lead to an infection no matter how fucking long you think you're good. Just because, you know, there's always going to be that one time where you think you're good and out of nowhere, boom, some crazy shit happens. So you always want to make sure you wipe down both and just for the sake of this video, I'm going to just uh, not shoot up on camera, but show y'all exactly how I fucking do it, so, exactly this, you wanna, you wanna wipe it down, just dropped it, but you wanna wipe it, and even, even the app, so, even in this case, after I ripped it off, but, you always wanna wipe it down, cause no matter what, you're gonna get bacteria in there, and then, and there you go, so, one thing I like to do in particular, obviously, like I said before, is backload, the insulin syringe meaning that so let me just pull from here first let me just pull the so this is uh this is uh a mil and a half of trend hex so i'm just gonna pull a mil from here all right and then it's pretty easy see easily a cc of a uh, trend hex and then from there that's what i'm gonna also this is a test sip 
So I'm going to take a half cc of this. So easily. All right, easily a half cc. Make sure you pull all of it down so that you don't want to waste any of the extra oil there because, you know, it could be OCD like that. Um, I always like to shake it up just to mix it just because it's all oil and it's all going to mix together. One other thing that I made the mistake of, very stupidly I like to add, but make sure that you guys don't make the same mistake. Make sure you don't ever mix a water-based fucking steroid with an oil-based steroid. They're gonna, it's gonna clump, and it could could lead to a crazy fucking infection that eventually could make your, make whatever body part you inject it get fucking amputated. I did the same shit to my calf once, like a retard, and luckily I was fine. But you may not be so lucky in a lot of these instances, which is why you always want to be cautious every time you do this shit. So, in my case, another so and another thing I like to do, which is the reason why I like to backload a syringe. So. Obviously, after you've pulled your, after you've pulled whatever drugs you're gonna shoot up in your regular syringe, what you want to do is pull off the back here of your not not that part. You want to pull off the back here of your insulin syringe, and easily, since it's a cc and a half, I like to do half of one and then half of the other in here, and then I shoot it in two different body parts. So. In this instance, we'll do seven and a half mils. Well, not well, point seven and a half. Boom, easy. And then after that, you just pop the cap back on, right? And then you put it upside down so the oil could all leak to the bottom. And then let's do the same for the other one. Easily. You just put the rest in there. Easy. And then you just put the back back on again, like we did with the other one. And again, we let these hang upside down so that the oil could go all the way back down because we don't want to shoot any of this air into the muscle group that we're going to be shooting. So since I already injected this earlier today, um, I did it in both of my delts. I do it in several different spots. So... There's a number of different ways or a number of different reasons as to why I like to backload a syringe. Number one, you see how I just pushed the both of them back up so there's no air at the top. Anyway, one of the reasons why I like to backload a syringe, again, like I said in the first in the in the first part, is because I'm a pussy and I fucking hate having to shoot these shits. Even if I am shooting with like a 25 gauge or a 23 gauge needle, I honestly just hate it. Um, using the insulin syringe just because it's so much smaller and, and, and finer makes it almost like you don't feel it. That's number one. Second, because whenever you shoot up in a certain area, obviously the area swells up and it creates a bit of scar tissue. So one thing I've, I've been doing, not as of lately, but I want to say this past off season and more throughout this prep has been, one thing I've been doing is, uh, spot injections. So... What are spot injections? Spot injections are essentially, a lot of people think that spot injections are are like SEO or like site site enhancements like synthol or, or um, I don't know what's that what's that like hydronics or some shit like you know like the hyaluronic acid shit, a lot of that. But that's not necessarily spot injecting. Spot injecting is just you just pick up certain muscle group that you're that you're trying to look bigger, and you shoot in that spot. So in my instance, I was trying to make myself look wider from the front. So one area I like to shoot in is my delts on my anterior delt here and here. So that by the time by the time it swells up, it just looks a little wider. Same thing with the lats here. I like to inject here and here. Obviously just so that it can make the lats look a lot wider as well. And it just I don't know, it just feels a lot better because a lot of the oil doesn't get clumped up either. Especially if you shoot like if you're shooting like three cc's in one body part or something like that, it could easily get clumped up. 
and you're just gonna have to rub it for hours and hours and even a day after and it'll be really fucking sore whereas if you spread your shots more of like an every other day instead of once or twice a week and do smaller dosages for those more frequent shots not only will it hurt less but more less scar tissue will show because more of your separation will show and then you'll just look bigger overall because of where you're shooting it if you're shooting it in the right spot so i won't be shooting this on camera but i just wanted to show you guys how to how to backload an insulin syringe so that you can make your shots a whole lot easier so in this case i'm only doing so just for just for i don't know for reference sake every week i'm doing I just started this week of uh, 750 test and 150 trend every week. So what I'm doing is a half cc is a, no, just a cc of, uh, of, of test every day. I mean, every other day, as well as a cc of, uh, of trend every other day. And that easily comes up to the doses. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.